And welcome everybody to another edition of One Bottle Nation. In today's episode, we're going to be trying out Hatozaki Finest Japanese Whiskey. We wanted to try something uh, different this time and um, you know Japan is known for uh, their whiskey so I figured uh, I haven't tried this one out yet uh, neither has Bob so why uh, you know better time than any to try it right now so Bob let's try it out okay So let's see how this uh, this does taste. The, the, the smell is not that strong as most single malts will be. It's not as um, as uh, pungent, um, but it's it, I can already tell it's, it it's it does smell really well, very sweet. Yeah, so it doesn't have a very smoky taste as uh, I, you can tell from the moment that you, uh, you know, you smell it, right? Um, it doesn't have an aftertaste also. Uh, it goes down pretty smooth, uh, even when it's just neat. I like it. I like it. It's very smooth, even though it's a little bit stronger uh, than your usual uh, 80 proof since this is 46%. So what do you think, Bob? All right, so we're gonna try this one on the rocks now. this on the rocks let's see how this uh, tastes like it's a lot smoother if there's no aftertaste before um, yeah I could definitely do this um, all day long it has a very sweet taste to it. It's the very, uh, it seems like it's a very citrus type, like a flavor. It could just be me, but. And the color, once you put it on, on the rocks, it's it becomes a little bit more lighter too. So it's not your usual, um, the dark color. This is more of like, uh, like very light amber. I like it. What about you, Bob? What do you think? As you can see, this one comes with a cardboard packaging. It does have some of the Japanese artwork and design. And as you can see there, it's both in Japanese and in English. And as the bottle has very light, like the color of a beer. 
and it's a plain bottle with the sticker put on. There's no glass engraving, it's just really plain old. As you can see, it's got the description in the um, back. So this bottle is about $60. I got this over at Total Wine on Route 22 in Union, New Jersey. And uh, for the price, it is pretty expensive, but, um, well, not expensive as most uh, higher-end whiskeys or single malts out there. But uh, I would say get yourself a bottle. $60 is definitely worth it. I give this a uh, one bottle review, meaning one bottle is something I definitely would buy one more time or a few more times. What do you think, Bob? Uh, this is what we are eating tonight. This is pork menudo. Big shout out to Kabai and Union. Um, this has uh, quail eggs and of course pork bits. It is tomato base. Uh, as you can see there's chopped bell peppers and green peas and some carrots. But even though this is good over rice, definitely good while you have your drinks. Have your Filipino friend cook one for you or go to your local Filipino store. Alright, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Bob, thank you. I thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit subscribe button. Like it if you do like our video. And don't forget to share it on all your social media platform. Okay? And leave us a comment below. Let us know how your experience is with you know, this current bottle, okay? We'll see you next time, One Bottle Nation.